Dean Logan, and I head up the membership department at Proudly South African. During this session, I would like to take you through the Proudly South African membership process and the benefits attached to membership. Proudly South African is the country's advocacy campaign for buying local. In order to be a part of the Buy Local campaign, companies need to apply for membership. How does one apply for membership? Companies are welcome to contact the membership department where a consultant will be allocated to you. This consultant will then take you through the quick, simple, yet strict vetting process. The vetting process is guided by four key criteria. That is local content, quality, labor, and environmental practice or policy. How does one confirm local content? A consultant will look at your business holistically to see whether you provide a service or manufacture a product. If you manufacture a product, it is up to the consultant to confirm whether your product is manufactured 100% within the borders of South Africa, or if 50% or more of that product is manufactured or assembled here in South Africa. That is the criteria by which local content is governed. In terms of ISO certificates and quality, quality is absolutely important. The reason for this is because the Proudly South African logo is a registered trademark that denotes quality and confirms local content. When a member becomes, when a company becomes a member of Proudly South African, we allow you to use the logo on a product. This means we are confirming that that product um, is in fact of good quality and is manufactured here in South Africa. It is therefore mandatory for us to know that your product has gone through the relevant testing phases and that the, the test, uh, your product has passed the testing. Uh, we ask therefore for ISO certificates and test reports to confirm that the product is of good quality. We then ask for environmental policies to see if companies do have in environmental policies in place. We do know that the proudly South African base is made up largely of SMMEs. SMMEs do not often have environmental policies in place due to various reasons. We therefore do not want to remove them from the base or avoid giving them membership because it is absolutely important that we grow SMMEs. We therefore allow them to sign a declaration form that confirms they do not have environmental policies in place, but they can still be considered for membership. And lastly, labor. The greatest mandate of Proudly South African is to create jobs in the local market. This means that we do not just want to create jobs, but to create jobs in healthy, conducive environments where employees can thrive and grow. It is therefore very important to us that every single company that we vet for membership abides by the correct labor practices of South Africa. Once these four key criteria are vetted and a membership consultant uh, believes that you as a, as a company have passed the minimum criteria at least for membership, he or she will then get in contact with you and take you through the tiered based of membership. Uh, Proudly South African membership is tiered based. That means um, we we, we invoice you in accordance to where you are in terms of turnover. Once you are invoiced and the membership fee is paid, you then receive your membership certificate and then a consultant will be in contact with you to take you through the membership benefits. Currently, we have a multitude of benefits attached to membership. One of the key benefits is the is us allowing you or affording you the opportunity to use the logo on your business and marketing collateral, as well as on your product packaging. We do provide you with a CI document that will guide you on the use of the logo. We also have a brand team internally that is available to guide you on the application of the logo. 
Most recently, we've added the market access platform that is MAP to our list of benefits. And this is really taking it to the next level where we are allowing our member companies to really access the market and access opportunities that are directly available to them. We also have the tender monitoring system that allows the public sector to work more closely with the uh, private sector. And of course, um, we have the marketing opportunities to really expose your locally manufactured products and services. This, the Buy Local Summit and Exhibition, is one of the flagship events um, that is you know, undertaken by our marketing department to really give exposure to our member companies. Here again, our members do not pay for participation, but by them merely being members, they already qualify to participate, participate in our Buy Local Summit and Exhibition. So these, this in a nutshell is really just some of the benefits attached to proudly South African membership. As I said, there's a multitude of benefits available to our member companies. And of course, um, the membership consultants, as well as myself as the membership manager, can customize your benefits to help you really grow your, your, your portfolio, grow your business, grow your product in the South African market. So please do get in contact with us to start your membership journey. Thank you. Alicia Tinyako, thank you. Thank you for the time taken to present this, for, for having prepared the video, and thank you for the effort. Before we ask the first question, Nkosi Nati Amatlangu says, proudly South African, you're the best, and we certainly agree. And also, we have a message from Copano saying, can I kindly get the website link to speak to a membership consultant? So if one of you two could please um, just type or chat that website link in the chat function, we'd really appreciate it. We can see all the thumbs up and all the hands clapping and the love that is shown to both of you. We do have a question from Leticia Piers. And um, either of you could then answer this question. She says, I manufacture beauty products and shea butter is my primary ingredient in all my products. Of course, this is sourced from Ghana. Will this negatively in impact my membership? And this product is made here in Cape Town. Um, thank you, Paul. Um, I'd like to answer if that's okay. Um, just in terms of product, as I mentioned in the video, um, we, we look at, you know, it, it's, it's twofold. We look at whether a product is 100% manufactured here in South Africa, or if that product is at least 50% or more of that product is manufactured or assembled here in South Africa. So in terms of this specific question, what we'd have to do is look at, um, you know, the, the raw ingredients, what is imported into the country and what is then um, manufactured or, or put together here in South Africa. Um, I can't obviously give the, the final answer now. What I would need to do is obviously to, you know, receive the membership application form, um, do the assessment and then get back to um, uh, the company. So if that in a nutshell is how it will work. Thank you, Alicia, for answering that. And thank you too to uh, Leticia for having asked that question, but it really is a very important question and vital question. Um, oh, she does say awesome thanks, so she, she got her answer. Alicia, if you or Tiniko could please, in the chat, provide the website, if it is at all possible, uh, provide the website or link to speak to a membership consultant, that would be greatly appreciated by the delegates. Sure, I'm doing that as we speak. Appreciate it. Delegates, do we have more questions for this amazing company that has brought these, this event to us proudly, South African. Oh, there we go. Tamelo has asked a question. Are you guys able to assist small business in terms of finding local manufacturers and more specifically for shoe products and clothes? 
Uh, Paul, are you able to please repeat that question? Is my sound going wonky again? I apologize for that. Can you hear me now? That's can fine. Can you hear me now, Alicia? Yes, I can. Fantastic. Tamela Matsubatsuba asking, thank you for the question. Are you guys able to assist small business in terms of finding local manufacturers, more specifically shoe products and clothes? Um, the answer to that question is yes. Um, we even have a master plan in place, um, you know, for the textile uh, uh, and footwear industry. So we do have, you know, a lot of Proudly SA members um, in our base that manufacture locally, that is, you know, footwear and, and clothing or textile. So that is a definite yes. Thank you, Alicia, for answering that. Tamara, there you have your answer. Tim Damon asks, one of the SMMA's biggest challenges is having a budget for events and marketing. Finding venues to showcase products and host potential buyers is a real problem due to the costs that are sometimes prohibitive. Is PSA able to assist SMMEs with this? Um, Pearl, if I understand correctly, um, the person is asking if PSA is able to assist with, um, is it finan finances for, for marketing? That looks like it. Maybe let me just read the question. Tim Dennis, you, uh, you did hear Alicia. Perhaps is that what you are asking? If you could just say yes in the chat and Alicia will happily answer that question. While uh, Tim is uh, typing his question, Alicia, we do have another one from Porter who's saying, what is your role in assisting emerging SMMEs in, in a go manufacturing security? Securing? Okay, um, Porter, perhaps you could retype your question, please. Or as Alicia has just provided the email address, her email address, please email all well, membership inquiries to her. Porter, I will try to make sense of the question. What is your role in assisting emerging SMMEs in manufacturing, securing marketing? Alicia, are you able to understand that? Uh, I'm just reading the question now, Pearl. Yeah. I'll let you know sure. in, in a second. Well, I'm going to be honest and say I'm not too sure what the question is asking. Maybe um, we need to, to ask if, uh, if the question is asking us if we are able to secure um, manufacturing companies for emerging SMMEs. Okay. We'll have Pato retype her question. Tim Damon has done so with his. It's got more to do with access to venues for hosting buyers to showcase products, not financing. Okay, got, got it. Um, Tim, in terms of that question, look, we have a large marketing department. Our marketing department is made up of uh, a brand management team an event management team and a PR team. Um, within the department, you know, one of those three teams um, could definitely be of assistance um, in terms of, um, you know, hosting and venues, etc. Thank you, Alicia, for answering that. We are going to run out of time. Loretta says, very insightful session. Thank you, Proudly South African, for the opportunity. And again, Loretta, we do agree with you. It's been really great over the last three days. Um, Alicia Nico, it is okay if the delegates that emailed you their questions directly? Sure, that is perfectly fine. I'm still going to be online till about six o'clock, so um, they're also welcome to, to send their questions and I'll answer it in the chat. Or they can visit the Plaza yeah. South African stand. And it's
Yes, sure. That's that as well. They can go to the stand. We're also available there to take their there questions. Delegates, please visit the Tarn South African stand and Alicia and other other representatives out there can answer your questions. Again, Alicia Tanika, thank you so very much for this. Thank you for your time. Thank you for your consideration. We really do appreciate it. And again, we are so so, so thankful to the South South African for having brought this event to us and to South Africa at large. Thank you. And yeah, I, I, I want to. I I Thank you, Paul. We are moving to the next session now, which is restart.